Animal Farm by George Orwell is an allegory, a story that can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning, that uses animals to represent the main characters and classes involved in the Russian Revolution of 1917. It critiques that revolution and highlights the mismatch between the ideals originally set out by its leaders, equality for all, and the reality of life after the revolution, in which people became far from equal. Many people who have analysed Orwell's Animal Farm suggest that he never clarifies whether these inequalities are an inherent aspect of society, or occur because one group imposes its will on another. In contrast, I argue that Orwell does provide evidence right at the beginning of the book that the revolution was doomed from the beginning because of a fundamental and inherent difference between the animals. And by extension, he's suggesting that the Russian revolution was also doomed because of inequality. Just a few pages into the book, Old Major, the pig, who represents the Russian revolutionary leader Vladimir Lenin, is delivering a long lecture in the barn on the initial ideals of the animal's revolution. He says that the world will be better once the human race is overthrown. He says almost overnight we could become rich and free. You'll notice the qualifications here. Almost and could. There is going to be some form of delay, unspecified in length, and he doesn't say that we will be rich and free. And as his lecture draws to a close, he says, all men are enemies, all animals are comrades. And so it's no coincidence that at this very moment there is a tremendous uproar as the dogs notice four wild rats have wandered into the barn. The sentence reads, the dogs had suddenly caught sight of the rats, and it was only by a swift dash for their holes that the rats saved their lives. This is the single sentence that tells us how intuitive the idea of them and us is in society. The rats are not accused of anything, they're just different. They're wild, and so they deserve to die. It is in the dog's characters to kill rats. And when a vote is taken to agree that rats were comrades, it's noticeable that the dogs and the cat disagreed. In addition, the vagueness of Old Major's vision for the future is exposed when it comes to the moment to expand upon his dream. He says, I cannot describe that dream to you. So in just a few words here, we discover that the fatal flaw in Old Major's or Lenin's conception of the revolution are that, that it's based on an unrealistic idea of animal and thus human nature and there's no effective vision for what comes after the revolution. It's vague and is open for someone to put their own interpretation upon it. And that is precisely what happens. Some animals become less important, the pigs eventually rewrite the rules and become more important, supported by the dogs. And the animal's original motto, that all animals are equal, is changed to all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. This was inevitable and is foretold in these brief exchanges at the very beginning of the book. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe now so that you never miss any of my future posts.